49 minutes later, at 3.07, you see two men leaving on foot, followed by those same bikers. Unfortunately, celebrities become targets due to their status. Aside from the idea that all celebrities are wealthy, which isn't the case, but that's besides the point, some people tend to target celebrity homes to live vicariously through them, in a way. It sounds incredibly odd, but there's actually an entire theft ring that targeted celebrities that people a part of the ring were fans of. It's believed aside from the monetary value, they wanted to feel what it was like to be that celebrity for a short period of time. Kind of weird if you ask me, but hey, there's a reason I'm not part of a theft ring. Today on Info Overload, we're counting down the top 10 celebrities that have been robbed. What's going on guys, Jared Bronstein here with you today, and as always, make sure to stick around to the end of this one for some common replies, but for now, let's get right into it. Starting us off at number 10, Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi. The most recent victims on our list, it turns out both Ellen and Portia were actually home at the time of the burglary. It happened over July 4th weekend, and TMZ reported that the robber or robbers entered through the back door and took off with some jewelry. Thankfully, neither Ellen or Portia were harmed during the incident, but I can't imagine how scary it must be knowing someone was in your house while you were home. As you can imagine, the next day the two really upped the security at their $27 million home. It's not even a home, like more of a fortress. And it's still to be determined if the couple knew the suspect or suspects. As of now, it doesn't appear the authorities have any leads, as whoever pulled this off managed to get around the cameras they had installed without being seen. Now they have since hired a new security company, which has given them laser sensors, cameras around the entire property, and armed patrol guards. So. I don't think people are going to be robbing them anytime soon. Next at number 9, John Legend. While John was traveling, a Delta employee accidentally left one of his Louis Vuitton bags unattended, so naturally someone was quick to snag it. However, they likely didn't realize it was John's bag they were stealing, and probably just thought it was a nice bag they could sell for a quick buck. I mean, the bag itself is worth $3,000, but the real treasure were the Cartier Panther head cufflinks with clear and green stones worth a good $25,000 that were inside. Now, considering how this went down at the airport, where there are cameras literally everywhere, it wouldn't be long before the bag would be retrieved and a 63 year old man would be arrested for the theft. After he was arrested, he apparently said, I know I should not have taken it, I made a mistake, and even claimed he was going to take the bag to the airport's lost and found, but uh, I don't know about that one. John got all of his stuff back, which is quite rare. At number 8, Rihanna. In 2018, three teens and one of their mothers would be arrested after being connected to a string of robberies. Aside from Rihanna, Christina Milan, as well as UCL Puig of the LA Dodgers and Robert Woods of the LA Rams would all have their homes broken into and burglarized. When the suspects were found, they reportedly had 50000 in cash, as well as some jewelry, watches, and handbags. Reports also claim they were expected to go after the homes of LeBron James, Viola Davis, and Matt Damon next. Many believe this group was a copycat of the infamous Bling Ring, who between 2000 in 2009 went after a handful of celebrities and to no surprise a lot of those celebrities made it onto this list. At number 7, Paris Hilton. Speaking of the bling ring, Paris got her house broken into a total of 5 times between October and December of 2008. You think after the first, second, maybe even third time, maybe she'd figure out a way to make sure this stopped happening, but apparently not. Reports claim two of the members of the ring actually entered to the front door of the Hollywood Hills mansion because she left a key under the mat. As you guys know, I usually sympathize with these things, but I think leaving the key under the mat is the most obvious place to look. Even if you live modestly, I wouldn't recommend it at all. Yet for some reason, Paris Hilton, who was known to flaunt her wealth, decided to leave the key under the mat of her mansion? Uh, like, come on. As you can imagine, thefts took off with tons of expensive clothing, bottles of alcohol, and cash. Another time she got robbed, a man named Roy Lopez allegedly stole about $2 million in jewelry. Now at number 6, Usher. Back in 2010, Usher had his car broken into around the holiday season, and he had quite a few gifts in the back seat. As per TMZ, the thief stole about 1 million bucks worth of jewelry, as well as some of his personal electronics, including a couple laptops, some cameras, furs, and even some cash. Most recently, Usher was inside a recording studio when just out front, rapper Rich the Kid and his entourage were robbed at gunpoint. Rich the Kid was the main target of the robbery, and one of his bodyguards got badly pistol whipped. While the thefts ran off, they apparently opened fire as well behind them, but it seems thankfully no one got hit by any bullets. Still a scary thought, and unfortunately, it seems Usher can't catch a break, as there were reports that he had a personal tape, if, if you will, on one of the cameras that were stolen from his car, as well as some unreleased tracks on the laptop. I didn't look into if those tapes ever got out, because I don't need to see Usher doing his thing. Halfway at 5, Miley Cyrus. A day before her 21st birthday in November of 2013, Miley had her home broken into and the thefts took off with about $100,000 worth of purses and jewelry, as well as a lot of personal items. She was away on tour at the time of the B&E, and that means breaking and entering, not bacon and eggs. In May of 2014, Miley's house would be a target once again while she was on tour. Although the first crooks weren't caught, the second ones kind of shot themselves in the foot after stealing an incredibly rare Maserati. A man and a woman scaled Miley's fence, entered to the garage, and stole some jewelry, and her Maserati Quattroporte, which was valued at about 120000 But considering how the car was only one of 755 total cars sold in the US at the time, it really helped narrow down the search, especially considering the specs the car had, like a 3 liter turbocharged V6 engine capable of generating 404 horsepower. It was a very fast car. 
Unfortunately, in December of 2014, Miley's house would be targeted yet again, with the thief stealing more jewelry and personal items, but he too would be caught. Now at 4, Lindsay Lohan. In August of 2009, the bling ring went after Lohan, stealing approximately 130000 bucks worth of jewelry and clothing. That being said, when they broke in, it tripped the alarm and the footage of the break-in would be caught on camera, which just made things even easier on the authorities. After they released the footage to the public, it wouldn't be long before the cops would crack down on who was a part of the elaborate plan, and the entire gang of this bling ring would eventually be arrested. Although Lindsay's home would be the last burglarized by the bling ring, they allegedly took off with a total of $3 million in cash and belongings, and as you can imagine, a few of their victims are also on the this list. At 3, Orlando Bloom. The bling ring went after Bloom and his wife at the time, Miranda Kerr. It was July of 2009 and Bloom was in New York at the time of the robbery. The burglars entered through a window and took off with approximately half a million in jewelry. Aside from this, they also snagged a few Rolex watches, a Louis Vuitton laptop bag, and an Alex Perry dress which belonged to Kerr. The crazy thing about the robberies is that the members of the bling ring dressed the part, wearing designer clothing so they wouldn't seem out of place snooping around the incredibly posh Hollywood Hills where the majority of these robberies seem to take place. On to number 2, Rachel Bilson. The former OC star was also a victim of this gang known as the Bling Ring, and truth be told, I feel we could likely make a top 10 list about them alone. But it seems in total they pulled off about 6 successful robberies, which also included Adriana Patridge, Megan Fox, and her husband at the time, Brian Austin Green. They stole Patridge's passport, jewelry, clothing, and about 43000 in cash, and took Green's semi-automatic gun, as well as some of Fox's clothing. In regards to Bilson, she was actually hit 6 times by the same group between April and May of 2009. Now I don't know how these guys managed to pull off robbing the same house 6 times in the span of 2 months, but Bilson was in Canada at the time of the robbery. Reports claim the thieves stole about $130,000 worth of property, which included a TV set, jewelry, and clothing. A friend told People Magazine, I quote, They stole all her designer label shoes, clothes, bags. She collected a lot of vintage shoes, she's a size 5, and they took them all. Now at number 1, Kim Kardashian West. You likely know about Kim's terrifying Paris robbery, when she was tied up by a handful of men impersonating police officers. Aside from tying her up, reports claim they actually held her at gunpoint, covered her mouth, and although she wasn't harmed, Kim legitimately feared for her life. I can't imagine how terrifying that must be, as she was apparently sleeping when the break in happened around 3 a.m. A source told Page Six, I quote, This was a life and death situation. They broke in when she was in bed and put a gun to her head. She had to plead and beg for her life, telling them she was a mother, telling them about her kids. Her trusted bodyguard was out watching over her sisters, Courtney and Kendall, but that wasn't a good enough reason for him to get off easy. Kim's insurance company filed a lawsuit against her bodyguard, Pascal, as well as the company he works for, Protect Security, for a good $6.1 million. In total, it's believed the thieves took about $10 million worth of jewelry, and the entire robbery lasted only seven minutes. But as you can imagine, will forever have an impact on Kim's life. Years later, a total of 17 people would be arrested in connection to the robbery, and another would be arrested a year later. And that does it for the top 10 celebrities that have been robbed. As always, let us know your thoughts down below. I kind of included more than 10 on this list, but that's just because I'm such a nice, generous guy, and I love each and every one of you. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video Top 10 TikTok Beauty Hacks You Shouldn't Try. Tony Deloria said, The fact that someone is telling people to shove a pen into their cheeks is worrying. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, that's the thing with TikTok, is like, I mean, I guess the internet. People just take what they see, just so literal sometimes. And there's a lot of things you shouldn't do online that people just do because they see it online. And maybe you just, I'll give you some advice. Don't do that. Neji Thompson said, I'm concerned about this generation. What generation are we talking? Like, is it? So if you're born after 97, you're Gen Z. And I think that's the generation she's talking about. Because us millennials, we know we're the greatest. We're like, you know, we're godlike, I guess you could say. Adam said, How to cut your hair during quarantine? Buzz cut. I got another tip, just don't. That's it for this one, guys. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. You guys been watching IO, and we probably got some bloopers because, well, you know, I just do funny stuff sometimes. <laughs> Starting us off at number 10. What? Starting us off at number 10. <laughs> well, number 10? Like, I see Ellen, so I just kind of put those two bad boys together. A source told Page Six, I quote, Shix. <laughs>